finding this research to Dr. Bernard Rimland. Um, he is the founder of the Autism Society of America, and um, I've read many books. I, I've, I've, uh, I've been a fan of his um, since Joey was diagnosed with autism. Um, and the day I came home and typed in autism and marijuana, and his research came up, was like, I just, I was up all night. I was up till about five o'clock in the morning because I could not believe, I couldn't sleep. I could not believe that the doctor that I had admired and the doctor that I had researched and the doctor that I had just felt like, you know, if there's a protocol for autism, this guy's on it. And to find that he wrote this, the initial medical review research on this, blew my mind. And which, which I am still struggling with why a few organizations have not stepped up to the plate and said, you know, she's right. And we should be honoring this man because even today with his passing he's still saving lives he saved my son's life which brings me to another doctor <laughs> Dr. Lester Greenspoon who I, I spoke with recently who also um, I, I believe um, is, is, is a phenomenal um, a, a, a doctor and person and research and resource. I mean, he is, um, he, he's also um, um, a very um, important person in this movement. He gave me so much information that I'm still trying to, 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 <laughs> to get through it. I mean, um, the fact that he actually said that he supported me 100%, he supported, um, you know, the, my findings, my research, and how I was able to present it to the world. And the one thing that he did tell me is don't stop. You know, he, he said that, do you know how many other children that you've saved just from coming public, going public? He says, you will never imagine how many children you've saved. And he pleaded, keep going. I'll give you the tools to continue to go. And that's the research. Um, and as I progress in this movement, um, I'm hoping that um, legislators, and I'm hoping that Congress, and I'm hoping um, the decision makers look at our situation and look at the rise of autism and step up to the plate and say, we don't care how autism got here. We need to move forward with improving the quality of life of our children.